Buying puts on Robin Hood. Welcome back team. This is Zach with Achilles Financial and I am having a great day. I would love it if my stocks matched my mood, but hey, I'm hoping that it'll catch up. So hopefully yesterday you saw the video. If not, I will put it in the top right hand corner of what my plays were for this week. And I said, hey, this is my plan. This is what I'd like to do and boom here we are this is the affecting result as you can see on the right hand side i've got american airlines puts i've got delta puts and i am all ready to see those things explode tomorrow when united airlines announces earnings for the first time go around but i wanted to use today's video to explain what are puts how can you make money off them and what the strategy is behind them and we're really going to focus on those first two of what are they and how can you make money off of them so as you can see I've gone pretty much all in on Delta so let's go ahead and dive into Delta stock now uh, again yesterday I announced that the airline industry is announcing earnings today I think that this is a good time to bet against the airlines we saw a bump for Delta going into last week after the announcement from Gilead that they saw some treatment they bumped up, so they were trading around 2285. They are now trading around 2366 at the time that this is going on, which is after hours on Monday the 20th. So, what is the move here? As you can see, I've got 18 contracts out there with a current return so far of about 6%. I bought most of these this morning. In fact, you can see the ones that I have right here. So, I have four buys saying, hey, I expect that delta is going to be below twenty three dollars a share on friday or four twenty four i have six buys saying that they're going to be below four twenty four on the or below twenty one on four twenty four and then i have a series of seven buys at twenty two so why did i buy all these various ones instead of just getting a single put there and the reason for that is because I want to hedge my bets. I want to say some are going to go higher, some are going to go lower, and there were different risk premiums attached to them. So I want to spread it out. I do have a high expectation that they are going to go under $23 a share, and I don't really have a high expectation that they're going to go down to $21 a share, but I'm still making that move because I think that there's value there. So how did I get these puts? So on the screen here, going down to trade options, if you haven't seen my trading options video, I will link that above in the right hand side right now. Okay, so you've came back. You are now ready to watch and figure out, okay, so how am I going to make money buying these puts? So if I go to buy and put, you can see here the premiums or the price that's going to be paid for these stocks or for the option to sell a stock at a given price so if you see that my my six puts here at $21 a share I always recommend that if you're making a play here look at the difference between the bid and the ask it'll probably show you hey what are, is the expectation that I will be able to sell this relatively quickly as you can see Delta and other large companies do generally have a high volume that they'll trade at However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to buy something ridiculous if you throw it out there. So the way that we're getting to that 39 cents is between you've got five asking for 40 cents and two people bidding at 38 cents and they're just taking that average. Always look at that. So I bought this stock. If we go back, I bought my 21 option, which this is the one that I am currently not making money on. I bought this at 44 cents and as you saw it is currently trading at 39 cents a share. So again these options contracts are in shares of 100. So if I'm looking at shares of 100 that means that this 44 cents a share cost me $440 and the or sorry it cost me $44 and this right now costs $39. So if I'm looking at these and the fact that uh, the thing that threw me off was I bought six shares of them, so I'm currently down about $30. So how do I make money? Well, the expectation that Delta is going to trade lower after the earnings for United tomorrow and Delta on Wednesday is that these shares will go down. 
So as they get closer to $21 a share, then the expectation that they may hit $21 will go up. My intention is not to sell 100 shares at $21 a share. However, I want to give someone the right to sell the shares at $21 a share. So that's the point where I make the money, is you're buying and selling the option, not necessarily buying and selling the stock. So whenever you're looking at these trade DAL options and it says the break even price, we're not looking at this if we're looking just to buy and sell options aside from just making sure that's not a ridiculous number that no one's gonna buy it off of you. Rather, what we're looking for is being able to say, what, where does it make sense for me to be able to afford a premium and that I think I can sell it at a higher price? So when you're buying a put, you always wanna be in the money. So that's anything below the share price. So anything below the screen line on Robinhood, Robinhood is very user friendly. Anything below that means that it is a put that you bet is going to go down. You don't want to pay higher than here. And the reason for that is because you run the risk of losing more money. So yes, I could say that I'm going to make money by buying the 24 shares of Delta right here. However, if I was a intelligent Delta investor and I thought that this was going to, and I wanted to buy 100 shares of Delta, why wouldn't I just buy it at this price, the share price, as opposed to buying it for $24 a share. So you're not gonna be able to sell it and very rarely as the contract closes in or is someone gonna to wanna to buy the premium when it's way up here. So don't go there. <laughs> so the options here that we wanna look at, again, all under. So this is right now going out to the end of this Friday. This is a short put. However, I could also go all the way out to May 29th and say, hey, I still expect it to be below here at that point in time, and it's farther out, there's less risk associated with it. Me personally, I do not think, and this is strictly my opinion, don't trade off of my opinion, do your own financial research, I do not think that Delta is going to be below 24, 23, 22, $21 for a long period of time. So I'm making all of these short bets, as you can see, expiring April 24th, I intend to sell a lot of these tomorrow or Wednesday. Again, that is my opinion. That may change. Do your own research, make your own financial decisions. It's your money. But this is what I'm intending to do. And let me know if you are interested in trying the same thing. So what I'm looking at here, Delta tomorrow, I wanna see them drop below $23 a share. And if I have more than 50% profits, so what I like to do is go here you can see that my returns are right here on the right hand side. All I did to do that is go to options and instead of displaying last price, I am displaying total return because I'm going off of the dollar amount that I can earn. So the only ones that I lost on for my airline is my $21 put and I think that that one's gonna become profitable tomorrow and then my two American Airlines puts. So that is my current portfolio what I'm looking at the carnival call we're not gonna talk about today. But if I'm looking at airline stocks, you can see that all of them took a pretty good beating today. I intend or anticipate that all of this is going to get worse tomorrow. So let me know your thoughts, your opinions, and if you are trading any airline stocks this week, whether it's puts or calls, let me know if you have questions on puts specifically for this video. And you bet after these go down, we're gonna have a video on calls because I'm going back in. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.